Hello and welcome to video number 3 of the Product Rendering in Blender series. This video will show how to create a 3D model of this permanent marker and then how to create a simple 3D animation using the 3D model. Let's get started. Once you open up a new Blender file, go ahead and select everything and delete it. Then drag in the reference image. I will provide links to these images down in the description. Once you've loaded in the reference image, clear the rotation and location and then rotate it along the x-axis 90 degrees. Next, add in a mesh circle, rotate the circle 90 degrees, and move it up to the front of the image. Then go into edit mode and extrude the vertices to the right, and scale them down. Then extrude another part, and another part. And then just add loop cuts along here, and scale the loop cuts to create this smooth ending. And then you can bevel these edges to create a smoother transition. Then go to the front again, extrude the loop of vertices outwards, and move it to the left a little bit, and extrude it, scale it inwards, and move it outwards a little bit. Then just keep extruding it outwards, and scale it downwards a little bit just to create this front part of the pen. Extrude it again, then scale these downwards a little bit. Extrude and scale. Scale a little more. Extrude it backwards. Then duplicate these vertices and scale them inwards. Move it to the left a little and extrude it to the left. This part is the very tip of the pen. So it's separate. Then select the edge loop of vertices and extrude this to the left to create this tip. Then add some loop cuts and scale them a little bit so it looks smooth. Then go back to the main pen object and add some more loop cuts here to make it smooth. Then you can switch over into the shaded view and you can see the shape look a little bit better this way. Add any necessary loop cuts to make it smooth. Then once the basic shape of the pen is done, we'll go ahead and move on to creating the cap of the pen. So drag in the second reference image, and then clear the location and rotation on this one. Rotate it up along the x-axis 90 degrees. Then select these two loops of faces here. Duplicate them. and then with them still selected, press P and separate by selection. This will create a new object using the selected vertices. Then select the leftmost edge of vertices on this new object and extrude it and move it to the left. Then extrude again, move it to the left and scale it downwards. Extrude again and scale it downwards even more. Add a loop cut here, scale it upwards. Then scale this one a little more, add another loop cut, just to create this smooth ending here. Next, add in a loop cut in between these two, scale it upwards. You want to kind of make a smooth transition here. Add more loop cuts if necessary. Next, to create the clip that goes on the cap, add a loop cut and then bevel it to create this loop of faces. Select the top two most faces here in the center, and with these faces selected, extrude them upwards along the z-axis, then scale these along the x-axis and type in zero, so this will flatten the faces. Then move them downwards a little bit, and extrude upwards again, and just move them into position. We'll just make this shape around here by moving the vertices around. So just continue extruding and moving the vertices into place. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just something that looks close to the reference. And make sure if you are scaling to just scale along the Z axis because you don't want to scale any of the other axes. Select this loop of vertices, add a bevel to it so it makes this smooth. Add a loop cut here, then bevel it to make it have a loop of faces and extrude these two top two upwards a little bit, scale them a little bit downwards. Next, shade smooth both objects. 
add a subdivision surface modifier to both objects. Then go back into the main pen object, add a bevel around the tip here, add another bevel here. Let's go to the cap object and add a bevel modifier. Move this modifier above the subdivision surface modifier. Set the bevel amount to something like 50 millimeters and add three segments. Then go to the cat object edit mode and select these loops here. Add a medium sized bevel. Then go to the back of the pen object, fill in this space, scale it a little bit, and extrude it. Once the main shapes look good, you can go to the main pen object, select the tip here, and press P to separate it by selection, just so this is a separate object. Then you can rename the object. After naming the meshes, go ahead and parent the tip object to the main pen object. After that, add in an empty object. And then parent all of the objects to this empty so that the empty is the main controller of all of the objects. Next, open up a side panel and set it to the shader editor. Then go over to render view and set the render engine to cycles. Use your GPU. Set the max samples to 100 and set the background color to environment texture. Open an HDRI. Go down to film and select transparent. So you have a transparent background. Next, go to the main pen object and add a new texture. Name this texture. Then set the color to a light gray and decrease the roughness so that it's smooth. Then go ahead and add in the logo texture. I've also provided this image in the video description so you can download it. Add the mapping nodes to this texture. Then connect the alpha of this image to a mix color node. Connect the alpha of the image to the factor of the mix node. Then set the A value to the gray texture of the pen and the B value to black. Drag down another panel and set this to the UV editor. Then go to the front view and select all of the vertices in edit mode. Press U to unwrap and select project from view. This will make the pen mapping project from the front. Then scale the mesh in the UV editor so that it fits on the pen. Next, add a texture to the cap, set it to a dark texture, and it should also be smooth. Then go into the main pen object and select these front faces here. And with those selected, go up to the material, add a new one and assign it, and then select the cap material so that this part is dark. Next, go to the tip object, add a new material, add a Voronoi texture. Add a mapping node to it, use the object as the mapping, increase the scale so it has very small dots. Then add a color ramp node, connect this to the base color, and make both of the values on the color ramp pretty dark. Increase the roughness. Connect the Voronoi texture output to a bump node. And connect this bump node to the normal. Decrease the strength of the bump node. Next, select the cap and the pen empty and rotate them 45 degrees. Then add in a camera and press Ctrl Alt 0 to set the camera to the current view. Make the pivot mode the center of the scene. Then rotate the camera around and scale it to frame the pen inside the camera. Set the timeline to 60 frames. Add a keyframe for the empty object at frame 1. And do the same for the cap object. Then go to frame 60. And drag both the empty object and the cap object apart from each other. And add keyframes for both of these objects. Then go to render view. And you can preview the animation. I wanted to add in a little rotation of the pen, so it looks like the pen is actually being opened. Go ahead and go to somewhere around the start to like frame 15 and rotate the empty along the local x-axis and add a keyframe only to the x-axis. Next, add in a plane. Scale this plane up 
This will add lighting to the object. Then add it to a new collection and set this collection to holdout so it won't be visible in the rendered view. Go over to the world nodes, add a mapping node to the HDRI and rotate around a little bit until it gives a nice lighting on the pen. Add in an area light, move it upwards, increase the power, and then scale it so it's more of a rectangle shape. Decrease the main HDRI strength so that there are some darker highlights on the pen. Then duplicate the main area light, rotate it around, decrease the strength of this light, and make it into a square. Next, drag down another panel here and set it to the compositor mode. Add in a viewer node and search for alpha over. Connect the render layers node to the bottom socket of this alpha over. Then go ahead and add a color as the top and this will just be a background color. I went ahead and set the background to a circular gradient. Once you're happy with how your scene looks, be sure to set an output folder and render the 60 frames as images and then stitch these images together to create the animation. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when I release a new video.